All right, guys, let's talk about Vertigo. Hmm. Wow. All right, so this is a Alfred Hitchcock movie. This is Vertigo. This was filmed in, let me see, uh, 1958, I believe so. All right, so for some reason, he reminds me of Mr. Rogers. I don't know why. It's weird. So I've never seen this movie. I just watched it. Well... I don't know why um, I haven't been watching these older movies because this one is awesome. This is a very, very, very good movie. So I got this movie here in Mexico. So this is the Universal. Um, I don't know if they did something different to this one because the quality was really good. On top of that, I am watching it via a 4K uh, player and a 4K TV, which sometimes scares me because it might make the movie uh, look weird on these older movies, but no, the transfer is really good. So overall, what did I think? Well, the the transfer here was good. Uh, this the 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 filming, the photography was awesome, and I don't know how much truth it is, but I know that this movie made the vertical shot famous. I don't know if it was invented here. Uh, there's like contradicting info. But at least this movie made it famous because that's what they call the vertical shot. And then it's one where you're either moving away and at the same time zooming in on the person. So that it, there was one scene, a couple of scenes that it used that shot. So it's very uh, exact on, on telling the story. So the story is a detective that suffers from vertical. I forgot what the the actual scientific name is, is when you're scared of heights. Something happens, he's scared of heights. All right. So then a friend calls. He needs help. His wife is uh, going crazy. She thinks she's somebody from the past. So on and so forth. She goes like on blackouts. In the meantime, um, he has this friend and she's like falling in love or in love with him. And you can see the tension, the, 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 um, the chemistry there. But I, one of them is just not taking the extra step. So after this, uh, an event happens. I don't want to spoil it. And you think the movie's over. And it's not. And then it comes into like the second part of it. And it's just, it just comes with a wham. And you're like, oh, oh crap. And he kind of knows it. And then the ending is just like, what the, <laughs> it's really, it, it kept me going, really, it's, it was, it's really intriguing, how long is this movie, because I, I don't even know how long um, I was watching this movie, oh, it doesn't tell me, no, it actually does not tell me, but overall, the movie is pretty good, well, this one has, like, again, this is one of the universal releases that, has about like 15 different types of movies. Uh, English, it has the DTS HD Master Audio 5.1. And Spanish, it has the DTS Digital Surround 2.0. And Portuguese, it has 2.0. And then after that, it has a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, this is, I think, like two hours. Two in, it felt like two hours. A little bit over two hours. But it was just nuts. It's It's really, it's how it messes him up how the whole the whole story the whole life is just you know like one thing after another after another he's just and he just keeps a positive you know like okay i'm down but hey let's keep going it's he keeps a, a positive outlook to love but man that sucks so alfred hitchcock is is a master at doing stuff like this that messes with your with your head and this did not fail to l deliver on his uh you know on his thing that he does he he did not fail here so yeah absolutely i would recommend start watching some of these older movies too because i've been getting you know just smacked around well like whoa how come i haven't seen this movie and and, and it keeps happening it just they just keep keep coming so I'm going to keep watching these older movies, um, these classics, 
and I'll keep reviewing them. So if you like these videos, just give it a thumbs up. Let me know. Let me know which one do you think I should review next? What I should watch? I'm starting to like all these classic movies. They're pretty, pretty great storytelling. That's what I like. Um, yeah, I, I'm not gonna lie. I do like the newer movies with the graphics and, and, the, but that's where I'm going for. You know, like Pacific Rim. I, I wanted to watch Monsters Against Robots. That's what I got exactly. With these, I have no clue what the heck I'm getting, and. I'm not being disappointed. So, pretty good. Excellent stuff. Again, thank you very much for watching. Catch you on the next review. Bye-bye.